Okay, uh, so this is the next video tutorial of Mopi API and here we have uh, that is the user manager and first of all that user manager is actually initialized in the constructor for that uh, constructor dependency injection. So just add and generate constructor dependency injection like that. <coughs> Okay, so here we have a uh, accounts controller and here we have a, a user manager like that. So now after that, just go for the program.cs file and add a JWT features. And here you can uh, you no notice that everything is fine where scope equals to app service dot create scope service provider db initializer and everything is fine um, with this data. So you can see in the data tab and here we have application DB context and the services like that and data settings part is there DB initializer class is there. So uh, admin role and the customer role is initialized and user manager dot add claim async. You can notice that everything is inside it in the role claim. Okay. So uh, just after that you will uh, go for the build token if the user is authenticated. Like that so a uh, program.cs file is actually mapped with the JWT so uh, there is a no JWT settings right there so add a new JWT settings and authentication is applied so after that you can just go for builder dot services dot add authentication and in the authentication just I want to add uh, JWT authentication so before going to much more de detail first of all add a JWT parent token uh, you get package right there so just write it here JWT and just add a new uh, token that is sorry package that is microsoft.aspnetcore.authentication.jwt parent okay so uh, here you notice that here we have add a jwt packages also some required packages is downloaded right there so here we have auto mapper and here we have a auto mapper Automapper.extension.microsoft dependency injection and this. Okay, so now after that, just close this error list window and just add authentication scheme. And add authentication scheme is the what? That is JWT bearer default. So just use JWT bearer defaults. And actually, JWT bearer default is actually existing in Microsoft.ASP.NetCore.authentication.jwt bearer defaults. And just add authentication scheme. And here we have a that is authentication is done by uh, JWT bearer. And after that, you can just add handlers, registered handlers that is add JWT bearer. And in which you can just take options. Okay, so here we have a just options and just after that we will initialize that options. Okay, so uh, here we have options dot token validation parameters equals to new token validation parameters is that and just I want to add here and uh, using microsoft dot identity dot model dot identity model dot token that is the valid parameters for their uh, movie api system so validate issuer is false validate audience is also false validate lifetime is true validate issuer sign in key is true and what is the issuer sign in key and that is the symmetric security key that just want to access byte type things so here we have encoding that is existing in system dot text okay and here we have a UTF-8 uh, get bytes builder dot configuration JWT and key. So here we have just open uh, app settings dot session file and just add a object type things that is JWT. So add a JWT and here you can just add key. 
and what is the key is there that is 16 character long key okay so here we have a key what is that okay so everything is fine uh, to add a identity in the project and just if you want to add identity that there is the code that is the default identity for the application user and the default identity role so save all and after that you could just go for the build token so uh, go for the accounts controller and here we have to generate a token in the token just add a new symmetric security key first of all so uh, here you notice that private symmetric security key underscore key and what the key is actually done so here I'm using I configuration config and just after that you can use underscore key equals to new symmetric security key encoding that is UTF-8 get bytes config and what is the token key and actually token key is defined just under program.cs file and here we have that is this one okay so just open your accounts controller I have to access oops this one okay now in the generate token first of all add that is the claims where claim claims equals to new list of claims and just I want to add a role claim instead of the name claims so there is only a role claim so add a claim is actually existing in the system.security.claims in space and what is that role claim is actually done uh, that is the user claim that is st.customer role okay and uh, that is the user role so uh, that is email this I want to first of all look at it email and uh, that is actually existing in user dot email okay so uh, that is the email and the next one is get all the uh, claims for the user related so and what is the credentials that is the credentials new sign in uh, signing credentials that is key and security algorithm is edge mac sha 256 signature okay and the next one is actually done with the token that is uh, oops issuer is false audience is false so there is a no need and the next one is claims so here we have a claims equals to claims and expiry is like that so just remove that part and just create itself so first of all uh, just add a new claim that is the, um, you know that uh, it's a uh, at all claims of the user so where claims equals to underscore user manager dot get claims async uh, for the user get a waiter and get results so here we have a claims and you know that is that claims and claims so you can notice that user claims okay and after that we will assign the claim into the claims range that is user claims okay and uh, the next one is uh, sign in credentials so key is the security algorithm is fine now just generate a security token JWT security tokens oops so now that add a new token so where expiration is date time dot now dot UTC that add hours that is add year one year and after that we will go for the token and the bar 
space token new JWT security token and in which you can just add that is uh, first of all audience is null that is issuer is null and uh, claims that is the claims and expiration that is expiration side and credential is credentials that's fine now after that we will generate the token by using the token handler so written task dot from result new authentication response so here we have a uh, action result that is authentication response you know that okay so here we have just removed the part and here we have just type new uh, authentication response and here we have authentication response and just add that is the token is new jwt security token handler dot write token and that token and expiration is the type of expiration so just add a synchronous task and you notice that uh, the token is actually done by in the get waiter and get result okay so here you notice that authentication response does not contain a definition of token so just update the authentication response first of all just go for this the string is the type of token so just go for the definition and here we have a token and expiration time so here we have a authentication response like that so just i'm going to add a new service that is public string token and public date time that is expiration so everything is fine just save this okay now uh, the, after that so uh, everything is fine now save this and you will uh, notice that authentication is done by token and expiration so uh, here we have just add a new process okay so after generate token uh, that it will be sent to the client so here we have a register uh, method is applied so fine now there is the http post and http post is actually done by register method okay and here we have a generate token that is the non action matter okay and the next one is the login so http cat and here we have the login method so you can use public async task that is so okay here we have just add that is the same thing right there and notice that here we have just use action result authentication response and just add a login method but just i want to add a login dto that is login okay so here we have a login dto so just create a login dto under the DTOs folder add a new empty file so here we have a login DTO.cs so here we have a uh, public class login DTO and the same thing is the username and the password this time I'm going to add so here we have an email and the password you can just take it here so login dto is the string email and the password so save this and just in the account controller here we have a login dto now just i want to map this login dto by using email and the password so by using the user manager uh, like that this is the much easier way to do by the pilot 
that is the user manager dot find by email that is login detail dot email user is double equals to null so bad request user manager dot check passwords async that is the not easiest way so you can use sign manager to do these things so add private read only sign in manager application user sign in manager and after that we can just go for sign in manager add parameter for this okay and here we have uh, that the same thing we can do with the sign in manager so after that just go for the sign in manager instead of this so use underscore sign in manager oops dot uh, check password sign in async uh, it's not a check password sign in password sign in async right there So here we have a password sign in async and in which you can just add application user application string password and bool is persistent and so here we have a application user and what is the application user right there application user and string password okay so here we have a find by email async that is the user manager and here we have a user that is the user and after that we will go for the login dto dot password and is persistence that is false and lockout by default that is false lockout on value is also false so make it here if result dot succeeded it's a message not succeeded then result is a written bad request and after that we will go for the generate token like that so here we have a login method is done Okay, so uh, there is the login method account detail.